What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video. Now in today's video we're gonna be showing you a few things about our DIY basketball court. We showed you a few videos ago how you can build your own DIY basketball court. You should definitely go check that video out because it's a very inexpensive way, it's a very simple way, and it's very very effective. But in this video we're going to be showing you how you can maintain that DIY basketball court. Let's get into it. few basketball courts here and there and as you can see on our basketball court the first court we built on this house was about two years back was those small bricks then a year ago was these long bricks and a few weeks ago was these long bricks and as you can see when you when we build something we always get smarter and progress when we build anything because you know what you did wrong you know what you did right so fix the wrongs do the rights and what something we did wrong was we didn't use limestone screen solution and as you can see that grass those grass patches on the long bricks is because of no limestone screening so make sure to do it right but this is just one thing that we have to maintain on our basketball court and when it comes to maintaining a basketball court you don't have to do it very often it's only about once a year maybe even less so it's not every month don't worry break why is it raining and way over there there's blue sky so as you can see right there it already looks a lot better because my dad removed the first little bit of grass that was on top there so that's what maintaining is it's just making your court better making it feel better making it look better and it's pretty simple too. The only the only tool you need is that shovel. That's the only tool that my dad's using. That shovel, some knee pads, and some gloves. It's very easy. to do it for you and if you're gonna do it for yourself you're gonna buy so many tools that you're never gonna use again when this court is a do-it-yourself court it's a thing you can find at any hardware store and you can do it yourself it's very inexpensive and it works very well so that's that's the answer to that question now, one thing I forgot to mention about our DIY basketball court in our first video is that your basketball hoop has to be level it has to be straight so as you can see here, we put a stone under the basketball hoop. We made sure that that is level, it's perfect. And then you put the basketball hoop on top of it. And the basketball hoop is a lot better that way. It's a lot more fun if it's not lopsided. So make sure that that rock or stone down there is straight.
Is water wet? Why are they called apartments if they're together? Is that red or is that orange? And that's how you maintain your DIY backyard basketball court. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Turn the bell on so you get notified every time we make a new video. And I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one, everybody. See you then.